So it's roguelike month here on the channel, and I thought we'd start this thing off with uh, with a roguelike I've been keeping my eye on for quite a while now called Shadow of the Worm. It's been developed by Julian Day, and it's over on itch.io. It's still in development, and I'll have links, of course, to that below. Uh, what's going on? It, it's a traditional roguelike. We, we wash ashore in this little peaceful village, uh, but not peaceful for much longer as we're going to be getting quests, you know, and, and journeying out into the world, equipping our bodies and, uh, and hacking down the evil out there. So, uh, anyway, I've been watching this one for a little while, and I thought we should start up Roguelike Month with, uh, in style here. And what style it is, because it begins with a poem. I saw pale kings and princes, too. Pale warriors, death pale, were they all. They cried, La Belle Dem Son, mercy hath thee in thrall. I saw their starved lips in the gloam, with horrid warning gaped wide. And I awoke and found me here, on the cold hill's side. Okay, let's begin. So now we get um, a lot of choices here, like any roguelike, any good roguelike, I should say. Uh, we get lots of choices, uh, especially character building choices. Um, we can be, well, any number of things. And um, I'm tempted to go with the ogre route, huge tribal creatures devoted to destruction and chaos. Uh, we could be a snakeling, but um, folks would yell at me if I didn't pick a dwarf, so we're going to go dwarf. Just because, you know, it's just the way things work around here. Uh, as far as class as well, I've only really dabbled with with the adventurer. I'm curious about how the um, the wizards and things work. And so, maybe we'll deal with that. Let's let's try it. I may die quick, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to pick a... I'm going to pick a... We can do a witchling or a wizard. But I'm curious about this primordial sorcerer. So, let's go with a witchling. My deity? We can go Celeste, the heavens. Uh, Aurelia is the warlord. We have Voros, the Great Worm. We have the uh, the Eldritch Horror people. Uh, you know what? We'll go with Voros. Yeah, I'm always up for a, a dragon god. Uh, we begin in either Aizendun, the remote fishing village, or Carcassia, the heart of the empire. Or random. I'm just going to take, uh, we'll take the village. My name is Undinti. Not much of a dwarven name, is it? Um, oh, you know what? I thought, I've I, I done this a couple times. I didn't realize it's actually it's somewhat randomized the map. This little area here is set, but this, this anyways we're on the overall map. Sorry, I should, I should back up a minute. My name's Omtiti. Welcome to Shadow of the Worm. I've got strength, dex, agility, health, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Um, hit points, um, action points. I guess what that is. We can see a few other stats in here. I uh, right now I have a whip in hand, a, a robe, and some shoes. I also have in my pocket some food and some ivory, which is cash. There's lots of things we can look at here, which we will all in time. But we begin right here. This is the overall map. I'm the little astronaut guy right there. And we can look around. We've got a graveyard to the east. We've got an orchard over there. We've got a dungeon leading down this way. And forest to the north, a keep to the northwest. Sprayed by salt and made low by time. Uh, but all this stuff is, is interesting because things have... I, I guess outside of this, it's randomized. The world is randomized because uh, I played a bit with this and I went sailing out there and there was no mountains there for sure. So anyway, let's go back. Let's let's go into the town, which we are hanging out at right now, and enter the small fishing village. So, um, oh, hello. Hello, buddy. An owl hoots. Oh, hello, owl. It's an owl. It's a friendly owl. What do you say? Perhaps uh, something about the owl in all its varieties seems not quite of this world. Perhaps the night hunting. Sure, sure. Um, anyway, welcome to the fishing village of the place. This owl is going to follow me around like a creeper. I'm going to take some flowers, though. You know, picking flowers. That's, that's what we do as a dwarf. Um, now, I haven't messed with spells yet, so let's go see what we can find with that. Um, I have... Uh, you can see all of the damage resistances, all of that. Uh, I've never taken nutrition from food. I've never consumed meat. I've never consumed the corpse of another creature. Those are strange stats to have. Uh, my skills, which will level those things up. There's lots and lots of different skills we can go through here, which we'll get as we go into here. Uh, I do have some spells, which I don't know how to do that yet. We're going to figure that out, I guess, right here in a minute. Uh, and I think that's it. So let's just go kind of bounce around town. We'll take a look and see what, else, what all is out here. Whoops. What all is out here. We've got a worried mother right there. We have a farmer. Uh, we got some flowers. Let's go say hello to the worried mother. Uh, the mother asks, have you seen my son... Eed. He always wanders off, but this time he's at the borrows. Okay. What about uh, this guy? No, don't switch places. I want to talk to the guy. No, 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 no. Talk to that guy. We got a farmer there. Good crop last year. We owe it to one man, the plowman. Okay. 
I can pick some more flowers here. We, we'll use those things in time. Let's see what we can find down here. We got another, uh, is this a kid? Is this, is this little kid? Hello, little kid. One, two, slime on my shoe. Three, four, a worm's big roar. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take some of that. My music played like two songs and it ended. So there's no music in the game. Uh, I'm just... I have a, a list of things, uh, some music I'm playing. All right. Um, what's going on in here? Hey, buddy, who are you? You are a blacksmith. Hello, blacksmith. I've heard talk of grave robbers opening burial ship of the great chief wolf out in the eastern graveyard. Legend has it this barrel hoard contains a celestial gemstone. With it, I could run my forge at great heat and make great things. Well, people would acknowledge my greatness, and that smug plowman would be forced to bow. Oh, what a jerk. So we have, I guess, a, a, a forge right there. We can't, I think we can forge things, we can make things. Um, there's a lot of depth in here that I've sort of just sort of gathered by reading through some of the pages and, and, and all that. Uh, let's pick up some more flowers here. Let's take a look at all these shops, though. We have, this is the merchant, I believe, but I don't have any cash, so. Yeah, there's Edmund, the merchant. Uh, Edmund, do you want anything, buddy? Let me have a chat with you. Have yourself a look, okay. Uh, the plowman is, is over here. Hey, buddy. So he says, harvest has been good this year, as ever, thanks to me. But the rare herbs I'm trying to grow require much light. Grave robbers have opened Wolves' burial ship. We heard about that. But it is not all bad. I have heard he was buried with a celestial stone, the sun gem. It is said that it emits a light as clever as the, as clear as the sun, and heat too. With it, I could grow these herbs and feed this village for years. Well, herb, uh, old plowman seems like a nice guy. Uh, who are you? We have some clay pots. We have Rimgar. He's deadly. What are you all about? Chief of the Eisenlings. He's a tall, regal man, just a shade under 40. Okay, hey, hey, buddy. This owl is not going to leave me alone. You're welcome to our lands, traveler. Oh, wait, the owl. I know what the owl is. The owl is my minion. I forgot. <laughs> I'm a witch. Or I'm a, yeah, I'm a witch. Witches become, uh, uh, come in with minions. You can find other folks out there in the world also that will join you uh, in taverns and things eventually. Um, yeah, I have a, a, a familiar. I'm a, I'm a witch. Of course, I have a familiar. An owl. Uh, to the ice east lies the barrows, uh, where we bury our dead. Each mound is a grave, and in the center we bury the ship of Wolf, our first king. I have heard vile rumors that graves have been opened. The ships sullied. Grave robbers are stealing the treasures buried to honor the dead. This is the work of Garrow Sparrow's thief. His thieves and curs. Defeat him and you shall have our eternal gratitude. Okay. No, I don't want to attack my... my... Dang it. Ow. Okay, let's go pick up a few more flowers here. So, I think we can go get quests from pretty much anyone here. Fisherman says, good weather, good fair winds. I'll be setting sail soon. Okay. Um, well, clearly we got two people that want that sun gem. So, we have to decide who we're going to give it to. Out of the way, Al. We've got a well up here. There's a little kid that's doing some nursery rhymes. Pick up more flowers. And we've got... I don't think I... Oh, maybe I, maybe I can read. I see a book of the nine, book of days. Um... Yeah, I'll switch places with you. Book of Days. Can we pick this thing up? I pick it up. Can I read it? So I have a, um... I have my hotkeys over here on the side. Make sure I... We well, can cast spells with Z. But... I'm gonna cancel that right now. We'll wait, wait. We'll cast spells when we get out in the world. I do want to read a book, though. So I've got the Book of Days. What can I do with this thing? Surely I can read it. <clears throat> but I don't know the button to read things. Quests are over over here. Do we have any quests? Yeah, those are the three that we picked up so far. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll it'll pop up here on me somewhere. But we'll we'll just leave it for now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get, uh, switch places with that guy. Let's chat with him first. Praise be, says the acolyte. Oh, we're in the temple. This is the gleaming altar. Oswin, priest of, the, of Celeste. This is not who we choose. We, it's not, not our god. We chose the, uh, the worm. Okay. I guess we could pray here if we wanted to, but no, no, no. No need to. I'll get carried away here. Let's chat with this guy. Uh, beneath, oh, sorry, I skipped part of that. Beneath the ship lies, uh, wolf first king. Within it lies his earthly wealth, ivory, and of course, gems and jewels. Grace of these is a sun gem. You'll know it when you see it. It is great, a thing of great power. Bring it to me. Who are you again? You are just sinwise. Well, um, why should I give it to you? Sunjin. 
murmurs Sinwise. Bring it to me. Why? Older woman, never married, never had siblings. Sinwise lives at the fringes of Isendune with her white cat, Sooty. One of the few villagers with any magical training, Sinwise provides protection from the, for the villagers from the seabound raiders, able to call upon the elements and harness deeper energies. These powers have made her frightening among her own people. Both respect and fear her. Not quite an outsider, but not accepted either. Sinwise spends most of her days tending to her books and studies. I'd like to get to know you a little better, Sinwise. You interest me. I will pick up a flower. And, uh, hello. Uh, old Hild smiles. Cloaks for the children, robes for the churchmen, and top of that, Rimgar wants a new mantle. She looks sadly at her loom. My supply of white flour is dwindling. I could get more, but it's becoming dangerous. If you could bring me ten or so white flowers, I would be in your debt. Okay, ten flowers. I'm on it. I can handle that kind of mission. Who's this, a plum? I'll take some plums. Uh, white flower, there we go. Who's this guy? I'm afraid you can't afford me just now. My fee is 250. Oh, okay. So there's Maeve. We can we can hire them. We have a fisherman over here, and there's a boat in the water there. Good crop. Last year we owe it to one man, the plowman. Yeah, that that plowman guy. Everyone seems to like him a lot. But there's a witch here. Uh, I think there's a guy up here that I believe has that one is locked. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, Q. Traveler, you will need more than just that to stay alive. Take this key. Help yourself to my old equipment. Thanks, buddy. What you got in here? You've got a number of items. You have a murky potion. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and a slimy potion. I'll take a pickaxe as well. I'm, not the, I'm a witch, you know. I'm not the toughest here. What else you got? You got a metal cap. I'll take it. You have a maple wand. A buckler. And some fireball. Oh, yeah. Fire bombs, potions, and a hammer. I'll take the hammer. And the potion. And I don't think I can take all the fire. I'll take two fire bombs. Okay, two fire bombs. I can't carry all of those, I don't think. All right, so we're uh, we're somewhat equipped now. Let me go make sure our stuff is on. Let's get the hat on. Um, nothing can go on my neck or my fingers, but I can carry a wand. I'm carrying a whip right now for some reason. But I'm going to carry a wand wherever it went. I thought I had. A, did I pick up a wand? I thought I did. Um, I'll carry a stone hammer. I'm that kind of witch. Offhand. We'll carry the buckler. I got a robe on around my body. Nothing goes there. I have some cur uncursed shoes, of course. Uh, and then range. Maybe that's where my wand goes? No. Ammunition? I picked up a wand, right? Am I losing my mind? Whoops. Let me do that. I'm losing. I, I thought for sure I saw a wand. I'm losing my mind. Right? Maple wand. There it is. How do I use that thing? I can't put it here? Mm hmm. Alright. Well, then I will use a stone hammer. I do have a button that, that will, uh... That will, um... Where is it? What's it say? Evoke wand. So we'll see what that does when we get over there. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Okay, let's, um... Let's get. Come on, wand. Or, uh, wand. Come on, elf. Uh, what's your name? Owl. Well, let's go. Okay, so we are here at, uh, at Eisendun. We want to go to the uh, to the east, to the, the graveyard, which we will do, and head down into there and kill some folks. Um, what else is over here? There is a vox flower and some barrows. Okay, so let's go pick up the flower. We've got a doggy coming our way. A hound. Large dog descended from some point from wolves, easily trained by men for guarding. So I would like to keep the dog, but he is an evil dog. So we're gonna see if I can I can curse this of shadows and shadow flame. I don't know what these do, but I'm gonna do a shadow flame. Oh, I see. I just did one way. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I do a curse of shadows? I evoked susceptibility to shadow. A hound looks altered. You feel your focus increase. The hound stabs you. You're exposed. <laughs> okay. Let's bash the hound. Miss the hounds. Um, switch places with my owl. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for the help, owl. Okay, let's go get a shadow flame. I missed the. Okay, I missed the hound again. But now we're gonna hit him. Okay, okay. okay. Feeling better. Um, I don't know where my mana comes in. Maybe that's the oh, the AP down there. Yeah, back up to four now. There's a stone we can throw at people. There is someone else on this way. Who are you? You're a grave robber. 
thief is to be the uh, is to the honest uh, as the thief is to the honest occupation, so is the grave robber to the thieves. Okay. Um, well, let me line up this guy. I'm not exposed anymore. Let's let's blast him. Take that. You summoned wisps of darkness. You corrupt a grave robber. A grave robber is killed. Congratulations. You gain a level. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so now we have a bunch of different things we can do here. All the different skills we can add in. Uh, this is not it, though. This is just the basic skills. We also have weapon skills. We have range skills. And we have magic skills as well. Um, I'd like to be better at magic. So let's put in, like, a few points over there. And then I probably need something in... I mean, we've got, an, we've got a big hammer. We'll just put some into bludgeons, I guess. Or a witch with a hammer. You know, as witches do. A bunch of rocks around here. And uh, there's another grave robber there. We're going to blast them. With uh, that shadow flame. I don't think I think, I think maybe he only goes two squares. So we're going to clobber him with our uh, with our, our hammer. I got 12 hit points at the moment. Another guy right there. I'm going to... Um, there's a doggy too. I don't think my owl does anything. I mean, owl just sits there and, and is lazy. Okay, let's summon a curse of shadows. I don't know what this means. Does that mean it, it's three? I don't know. Two AP, obviously. Uh, range four, maybe is what that is? This is two, range two? Must be. So we'll do a shadow flame. Got him. Corrupt a thief. Thief is killed. I feel my focus increase. I sure do. Okay, uh, doggy's there. Let's go ahead and blast him with another shadow flame. Take that, I gain another level. Excellent. Okay, I would like... Um, so let's we, we could read some stuff there. Magic. I mean, that sounds like something I want to have. I am a magic man. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take five of those. And then... I don't think I have any cantrips, do I? So we'll just take some more Primordial. I will take some, some coins. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I want all of them. Okay, I'll take that. And we're going to blast this guy again. I Oh, I've got a new skill. Cloak of Shadows, that's new, right? Range is 1 TS. I don't know what it means. But we're going to wait for him to get right up on us. And we're going to 1 TS him. Surround yourself with a murky cloak of darkness. You feel altered. You feel your focus increase. The thief stabs you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Self is what it means. Uh, Shadow, yeah. Blast that guy. Um, Hello. Grave robber. So we're going to blast him as well with the curse of shadows. Grave robber looks altered. I'm just gonna bash him now. You really aren't much help, are you? Uh, are you owl? Uh, let's get that. That flame's pretty good. So we just shadow flame everybody. Let's just shadow flame everyone. Certainly has a lot of uh, of atom, atom, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, I think it's probably the closest roguelike that I uh, I'm familiar with for this one anyway. To take up a... Oh, yeah, buckler. I'll take it. Another doggy there. Uh, we're going to blast another dog. I'm sorry, doggy. I really don't want to do this. There we go. I have I have a lot of action points now. Uh, brewing uh, is, I think, not in the game yet. What that little asterisk mean there, means there. But uh, maybe a bit... Um, maybe a bit more magic. Maybe that's what got me, got me my spell, my, my skill. I don't know. We'll do that, and we'll do uh, we'll do some more in, in... We'll just keep on cranking it in those, those there. Do I know any new spells? No? Um, I, I don't have... Let me go back. Yeah, no. But okay. I will grab a flower. Listen here, buddy. I'm just picking flowers. I'm... I'm. Uh, you know what? You rob your graves, you do what you want. I just want flowers. Uh, I'm going to pick up this thing and, and, and this thing. I'm going to blast another grave robber. Take that. And there's that boat we need to get into. So let's go... We'll get in there in just a second. So let's pick this thing up. Who's this guy over here? Hello, sir. Uh, oh, oh, it's Ede. Ede, friendly Ede. Hey, buddy. Um, there's a there's a grave robber out here. A doggy too. So let's go and do that. Blast that thing. And uh, and blast this dog while we're at it. And play more music because it's not playing for some reason. Stop shuffling. Okay. Uh, would you drop salted fish? Okay. Um, well, hello, Ede. My name is Ede, the boy says. I'm from Isadune originally. I go back to visit my mother, but I'm not welcome there anymore. 
I don't fit in. I don't understand others. They simply, they want, they want simple things. They're never happy, and they don't see things. Not really. Sinwise told me stories about when the world was young, how magic was everywhere, and creatures and people, and how it cooled and faded. The wizards write down their secrets to preserve them. Mystics get whispers, witchlings tap into something, priests pray. But what if what was never actually what if it was never actually faded? What if it was just forgotten? The builders, the unlings, the fair folk, all of them. Here, look at this. He closes his eyes and gestures, and a spectacular burst of energy erupts in front of you. In it, you can see the history of the world playing out at a dizzying pace, tens of thousands of years at a handful of seconds. I can't read, he says gravely. I'm not religious. I just put my ear to the earth and listen. I see things in the night. Fragments of people and places. The lovely fair folk. The race of builders. Some of them are gone, but speaking to me still. Others are still here. It's strange and beautiful. He smiles at you. Just remember, the things you can see are only a fraction of what actually is. My mother worries, says Eid. But the bandits don't bother me. Not since they found out what I can do. As for food, I never go hungry. Silverweed grows all wild around here. It's bitter, but filling. I got lots of extra plants. Go on, take some. Thanks, buddy. Okay. What a weird little kid. Thanks. I'll take that. Uh, add one more dog kill to the list. Take that, doggy. Uh, what is this? This is a rock. I don't want rocks. Uh, I want to get in this... Oh, wait. Is that cash? That's a rock. Okay. Let's get in this boat. And uh, let's save... Oh, hello. Bash this guy. Mighty below. It sure was. Okay. Um, I got lots of hit points now. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, we're just going to blast this guy. We should always just cast spells at these guys over here. Black Guard's been taken down. Another one. Bites the dust. Okay, and we've got another Black Guard there. I know by many other names. Mercenary, Sellsword, Brigand, Outlaw. Okay. Um, whoops. I'm going to do Explore. We've got a bunch of cash laying on the ground here. Okay. So, he is one, two, three, four away. So, let's just blast him with that, that range four one. Take that. So, he is, uh, he is cursed. I'll give myself a cloak. And I'm going to blast him with this one again. There we go. Gain another level. Excellent. Uh, I want more magic. That. And a bit more... I think Primordial. Yeah. Any more new spells? I do. I got... Netherbolt. Range 4. 10 action points. I'm not sure what the, the, the pound sign does for me. But whatever. I'm going to pick up all this cash. Oops. Okay. More cash. Anybody? Oh, hello. Are you the big bad guy? I did not. I meant to hit the explore button. Uh, Yeah, that's him. That's the big bad guy. Ugly, scarred man. Garros is missing an eye, an ear, and several teeth. Remnants of a ratty cape hang from his shoulders, closed by a cheap wooden clasp. And his boots look ill-fitting, but at his waist you can see a large stone hammer. Its curved head filthy and caked with blood. Level 7. Okay. Okay. Um, let's, let's nether bolt this guy. You conjure another bolt. Your corrupt Garros, Barrow's thief, Garros, is killed. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what? You don't mess with me. Uh, scribing, smithing, swimming. Maybe we should get a couple points in swimming, swimming just in case, you know. We have a bad a bad trip off of a, a long walk off a short pier or whatever. I'll take some more primordial, though, as well. That black guard is still there. So let's back up here. I don't want him to get my owl, just in case that's possible. We'll shadow flame him. And, um... Any new spells? No. This, this is our gym, isn't it? The sun gem. You got it. Okay. Come along, Al. I'll grab all these. I mean, I'll grab, you know, with a little grave robbing, robbing, you know, uh, after all this. So let's get out of here. Yeah, let's leave the area. Let's go back to town and tell them how heroic we are. I guess we have to decide who we give this gem to then. All right, we could give it to the blacksmith to make cool blacksmith stuff. We could give it to the uh, farmer to make food. We can give it to the witch. We gotta give it to the witch, or whoever she is. So, hello. Her eyes light up. The sun gem. It is just as beautiful as I had heard. Thank you, adventurer. I will keep it safe. She hides me a number of scrolls. Here you are. These should help you understand and improve what you're carrying. Oh, yeah? Scroll. A couple scrolls. Okay, I will take them. Labeled something. So, I don't know what they are, but I will take all of them. 
Um, I think I can enchant things. I think is what that is. I, mm, let me see here. Um, there's a evoke wand, which I didn't do. Okay. Strange force prevents digging into this place. So yeah, it fires a big wand out. Um, no features I can apply. Uh, no, I want... Um, My items I can view. Oh, it's Book of Days? Nope. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, let's go tell... Do I find enough flowers? I don't think I found enough flowers for her. Oh, she still needs ten. Okay. Let's go tell the, the chief that we're a hero. Hello, chief. I am a hero. No, 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 no. You have done great things for us, traveler. Take this key. Help yourself to the contents of our boathouse. Oh, boathouse, you say? Oh, forgot to pick up the key. Okay. Sure, sure. Is there a boathouse somewhere around? Who are you? A tanner. Okay. Oh, it must be that one. Who are you? A princess murmurs. All men pass the dust, but what we study in life defines us. All right, whatever. Uh, I'll take this flower, though. I don't know how many of these things I've got. That's a cream flower. I need a white flower. Is it? Door clicks. Door swings open. Uh, salted fish. Uh, a rowboat. And a fishing rod. Okay. So now we can just go out into the water. Normally we can't do this without drowning or chance to drown. And let's leave this area. And then we can sail. Then we can go wherever we want. My skill at forging is improving. Check this place out. It's like a whole new... Oh, nice. What do we have over here? Fortified castle. This is all randomly done. I guess each time the game randomly does... I'm starving at the moment. Ooh, we should eat something. Uh, let's eat. I'm gonna eat my food ration. Oh, I eat my plums. There we go. I spit out the plum pit. I'm still starving, so maybe we should eat some of those salted fish. Oh, yes. Very, very, uh, very Scandinavian of us. Now, let's go and look. What's all this over here? Small village. Buildings boost, boast thick stone walls. Hidden defenses. A holy temple. Yeah, I want to go see this temple. So let's go inside the temple. Hello, temple. Oh, by the way, I didn't show this off. It's going to be kind of hard to see this, but we can go in. I think it's palette change, which is this. So Gaia, Neon. It all kind of looks the same because this is a weird look place. But you can change the look of the of everything. It's over here. A cairn. Okay. Who is this? A ga uh, There's some ferns. Some fiddleheads. An urchin fires a rock at you. The urchin misses. You listen here, buddy. Nobody hits me with rocks. Nobody. Take that. Contra another bolt. You corrupt an urchin. Urchin is killed. Ooh, what do you drop? Some rocks and a sling. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have murdered the urchin. <laughs> Maybe we should have. More fiddleheads up there. Oh, hello. Uh, a friendly fall. Oh, a fr hello. Are you friendly? Follower nods hello. And nod hello. Okay. Urchin fire. Stop throwing rocks at me. Urchin grins and and you see it sidle closer. And urchin fires a rock at you. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble here, but you shouldn't throw rocks. You throw <laughs> you throw rocks at me, I kill you. Carrots in the fields. Where's my owl at? Just in a sort of. I guess this is. This must be the temple down this way. What is this thing? Uh, what does it say? A floor? Oh, an altar. Who are you? Can I talk with you? Mind the braziers. You're not much help, are you? Clearly, we're outside here. No, um, who are you? Find the braziers. I understand the braziers. Let's go back in here. We gotta figure out what this place is before we, before we end this video. Oh, it's hello. So I, I dabbled, I, I mentioned before, I dabbled with this a bit. And last time I, fa I came across a, uh, stop throwing rocks at me, um, uh, a, a temple to the, uh, the elder god or whoever. And they all, they all hated me because, you know, uh, he hit me with a critical hit with that rock. You dang kids. Urchin grins. Nods hello. This guy's... 
The urchin teleports. He does. Oh, I killed another urchin. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Okay. Uh, first light breaks over the horizon. Okay. Urchin is throwing things at me again. I'm getting beat down by these urchins. Like throwing like 50 of them at me. Okay. We gotta get you get out of, get out of town. You're stunned. Unable to flee. The mer merchant. I just want to get out. He stabs me. I'm stunned. Yeah, leave the area. Okay. We made, it, we made it out. Anyway, we got a call today here. So this is uh, Shadow of the Worm. If you want to see more of this, let me know. We may continue this thing and see if I can survive the next urchin attack. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll have links to the itch page below and you can check this thing out. And I will see you next time.